Hey guys, welcome to day seven of Yoga March Madness. Today we are going to get into a nice um, twist flow. So let's hop on our mats and we'll get started. Some kitties might join us today as well. <laughs> so we'll be on our backs. Well, actually, we're going to start on our side. Um, I want to start on my left side, so I'm going to face you to start with. On my left side, I'm going to have 90 degrees at my hips and 90 degrees at my knees. Okay. My left arm is going to be straight out from my shoulder. If you'd like a block or a pillow to support your head, um, you can definitely have that as well. And then my right hand is just going to be placed right on top of my left hand. So I'm right here on my side. And now as we inhale, I'm going to take my right hand up towards the ceiling and back to the right to open up into a reclined twist. And as I exhale, I'm bringing my palm back on top of my left. I'm just going to move this way a few times. So inhale, open up into your twist and exhale, hands together. A few more times with breath, inhale. Exhale, let's go two more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, nice. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing Second side, so roll on to your right side. I'm just gonna flip to this side so I'm still facing you. And if you'd like a pillow or a block to support the head, make sure the hips are at 90 degrees, the knees are at 90 degrees, the right hand is directly out from the shoulder and the left hand's on top. Inhale, open up into your twist. Exhale, hands back together. Few more times. Inhale and exhale. And note if one side is a little more restricted than the other. For me, this side is definitely um, a little tighter today, and that's okay. Just needs a little extra TLC to to get it moving. Let's go two more times. Inhaling to open into your twist. Exhaling to close the twist. One more inhale. And exhale. All right, if you had something supporting your head, you can remove that. And we're going to just move on to our backs. Now that we've kind of opened up our torso, we're going to fire up the core just, um, just a little bit. So we're going to take our feet up off the ground. Knees are going to be wide. Feet are together. Hands face the ceiling to start with. Deep inhale. And then as you exhale, try and touch your palms to your feet. Then inhale, release. Exhale, bring the feet in, bring the palms up. Then inhale, release. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Now as your palms come towards your feet, your knees come towards your armpits. Right? One more. Exhale, knees in, hands out. Then inhale, back down, release. Take a moment. Right. This time, as you lift your knees up, bring your knees together, squeeze your legs together so you have one big leg. Okay? Hands to the ceiling. Press your palms to the ceiling. So we're going to crunch up shoulder blades off the mat. I want to twist to the right, left arm to right thigh, back to center, second side, so right arm, left thigh, back to center, and then twist to the right, back to center, twist to the left, back to center. One more time, to the right, center, and to the left, center. Release back down. Take a moment. And then roll to the right side of your body. Press yourself up and find yourself in a cross-legged seated position. Reach your arms up overhead. 
As you exhale, right hand's going to come to the ground. Left hand's going to stretch over, and maybe the right elbow is going to bend to allow that stretch to deepen. Allow the left hip to become a little heavy. A nice stretch. Side body open, openness is so imperative to nice twists. Let's inhale, reach up. Second side, so left hand to the ground. Right hand comes over. Bend into the elbow. And then make your right hip heavy. Really work on keeping the shoulders stacked. Don't let that top shoulder roll down just to make you feel like you're getting closer to the ground. Because that's not the goal. The goal is here to get a nice stretch through your armpit, through your rib cage, and all the way down into the hip. A few more breaths here. And then come on back up. Find a nice long spine. Lift up through your armpits and then pull your shoulders back. Keep this broadness of your chest as you take your right hand behind, left hand forward, and just twist. A gentle cross-legged seated twist. Keep those shoulders up and back, looking behind you. And inhaling to center. Second sign. Right hand, left knee, left hand supports. Easy twist to the left. And coming back to center. Onto our hands and knees. Just do some cat cow here. You inhale, coming into cow pose. So dropping the belly, pulling the chest forward and up. Exhale, round the spine, drop the head. Inhale, belly down, chest forward. Exhale, rounding the spine. One more time. Inhale, drop the belly, pull the chest through. Exhale, round the spine, drop the head. Come back to neutral. Step your right foot in between your hands. Just allow the hips to drop down and forward. Lift your chest up, look forward. As you exhale, straighten your right leg, pull your hips back. Reach out through the inner heel. Come back into your lunge, so bend the right knee, lift the chest up, and then shift back, pulling the hips back, but reaching through the inner heel. One more time, let's come forward. And shift back. Coming forward into your lunge. Heel toe your front foot to the edge of the mat with the toes pointing out slightly. Plant your left hand. Right hand to right knee. Press into your knee to help rotate the torso. Once you're in the twist, really reach out through the crown of your head. So you're really lengthening out from the pelvis to the crown of the head. And lift up through your armpits, pull your shoulder blades back to almost feel like you're coming into a mini back bend. My glutes are nice and engaged to help the hips um, continue downward. And then my gaze is shifting up towards the ceiling. One more inhale. And then exhale, right hand comes to the inside of the foot. Sweep your foot back back to tabletop. We'll do that second sign. Left foot comes in. Then just inhale, let the hips drop. Lift the chest. Exhale, pull the hips back. As the leg straightens, reach out through your inner heel. Inhale, back into your lunge. Our hips drop, chest lifts. And then pull the hips back as you exhale. One more time, inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale, coming forward into your lunge, shifting your left foot out to the side, toes pointed out slightly, right hand to the ground. 
Again, engage your back body. So I like to press my shin into the floor to, to activate my glute muscles to keep my hips nice and open. Then left hand, I'm just gonna push the knee out as I rotate through my rib cage, through my chest. I'm lengthening out through the top of the top of my head. So nice length through the spine. And then lift up through the underside of your armpits. Pull your shoulders back. And rotate a little bit more. Breathing deeply here, feeling the openness, getting a nice um, front of the thigh stretch, a nice hip stretch through the front leg, and a nice twist through the torso. One more inhale, then exhale, left hand touches down, sweep your left foot back. Curl your toes under, thumb dog. Allow the legs to pedal out a little bit, feeling the mat underneath your hands and feet. And then we're just going to settle into our down dog, look in between the thumbs. Bring your hips or bring your shoulders partly towards plank pose. So you're not completely in plank pose, but you're almost there. From there, I want you to press through the floor to feel your shoulder blades um, spread apart. Keep that upper back space, and then shift your shoulders back into down dog. Nice deep inhale. Then exhale, step your right foot forward, then your left into a fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep wide, sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise. Arms up. Gently lean back. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep wide and up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chest lift. Exhale, hands down, right leg back, lower the knee, uncurl the toes, press through the shin, reach up through the arms, inhale. Exhale, your hands to your heart, anchor your thumbs onto your breastbone. Keep lifting up through the armpits, pull your shoulders back. Then exhale, twist to the left. Don't move your hands, just twist from your core. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Center, inhale, one more, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, hands down, down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, all the way to the belly. You can bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, cobra pose. As you lift up, reach to the crown of the head. Pull, lift up through your armpits, pull your shoulders back. Just like we do in a twist, same thing. And then exhale, down dog. Inhale here. Exhale, right foot steps forward. Back knee down. Uncurl the toes, press through the shins. Inhale, lift through the fingers. Exhale, hands to the heart. Keep that side body length, pull the shoulders back. Then exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Hands stay on the breastbone. Inhale, center. One more time. Exhale, use those core muscles. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Inhale, chest lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep wide and sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, left knee down. Press through your shin as you inhale and reach up through the hands. Exhale, your right hand back and down so your hand rests on your left thigh. So we're already coming into a twist. 
reach up and back through your left hand. So you're leaning back, scooping up the small of the belly. So a mini back bend here. As you exhale, take your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Hook. Press your thigh into the elbow, elbow into the thigh. And then the right hand's going to come on top of the left for a prayer twist. And we're squeezing our glutes to drop the hips down and forward. We're reaching up to the crown of our head. And we're pulling our shoulders back to create a mini back bend. Lively twist. One more inhale. Exhale on twist. Hands down. Step back, down dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale all the way to your belly. And come into your knees if you need to. Inhale, lifting up, reaching through the crown of your head. Lengthen your side body by lifting from underneath the armpits, pulling your shoulders back. One more inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale here. Then exhale, left foot through. Right knee down. Press through your shin as you inhale, reach up. And then exhale, left hand to right thigh. Reach up and back with the right. Mini back bend. Shoulders are pulling back, rotating through the torso. Deep inhale. Exhale, right elbow outside of left thigh. Then left hand comes on top. I'm resisting my elbow with my knee. I'm reaching out through the crown of my head. I'm lifting up through the bottom of my armpits, pulling my shoulders back. And then using my rotational core muscles to come into the twist. And I'm breathing. Keep rotating, keep twisting, keep pulling the front of those shoulders back. Deep inhale, exhale, untwist, back knee lifts, step forward as you exhale. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, full, inhale, sweep wide, sweep, exhale, hands to heart. I'm going to turn to face you. My big toes are going to come together, heels slightly apart, hands to my breastbone. Bend the knees, hips come back. My weight is in my heels, so my hips can go back and my knees are not over the front of my toes. Scoot down, scoot down, scoot down. Reach out through your chest, reach out through the crown of your head. Inhale, exhale, twist. Don't hook the elbows, we're just twisting using our core. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist, second side. Inhale, center. Two more times each side. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale. As you exhale, fold forward, widen the space between your feet. Again, allow the knees to bend. Let the head become heavy. Let's take a few moments here. I want to turn towards the length of my mat. And everybody step back into down dog. A few moments here. And then shift forward to plank. Come onto your belly. Slide your hands forward for sphinx pose. So forearms are propping you up with your elbows slightly in front of your shoulders. Give a nice stretch to your core, because we definitely worked back today and yesterday. But anchor your pelvis down into the mat to help um, balance out all those twists we did today. 
one more inhale. And then as you exhale, slide your hands underneath your shoulders and then press yourself up onto all fours, then all the way back into child's pose. Hands can be outstretched in front. You can take your hands and hold your feet. Whatever feels best in your body as we'll finish class here in child's pose. If child's pose is not a comfortable pose for you, you can turn onto your back in lion savasana. Whether you're on your back or a child pose, just start to slowly come back. Move your joints, your fingers, your wrists, toes, ankles. And then slowly make your way up into a comfortable seated position. Here, hands come together in front of your heart. Close the eyes, bow the head. Finishing with the sound of Om to recognize our connection to the entire universe, the beauty of nature, and each individual practicing with us today. Deeply exhale. Fully inhale. Oga Samasta Sukino Batu. May the universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for joining me in class today. More importantly, thank yourself for turning me on and working so hard. Have a beautiful rest of your day, a wonderful week. Namaste. Great, great job guys. See you tomorrow.